profiling people coming in, and if you were a Latino or a black, and uh-huh. uh, you were coming in from Miami, that means you were bringing money into into the New York area. Mm-hmm. And and then that's how it all started. And uh, you know, it's the corruption is very very high. How many of the the DEA agents themselves do you think, or is it is it? Let me rephrase the question: Is it common? For DEA agents to use cocaine, to use drugs themselves? You know what? Uh, that's a very good question. And let me tell you what. I was on the board to hire agents. Uh-huh. We couldn't find an applicant who did not use cocaine. You couldn't find we an applicant? We could not find an applicant that, didn't use, that did not use cocaine. So we ended up hiring people that use uh-huh. cocaine. We ended up hiring them because they claimed that it was for in, uh, experimental purposes only. So can you imagine that? Amazing. We're hiring people that actually use cocaine. Amazing. And what yes. and what type of roles and positions and uh, special jobs agents? You, special? special agents with the Drug Enforcement Administration. Can you believe that, friends? <laughs> Not a one. Yeah, it was on the oral board uh, reviews for for hiring these people. Yeah. Did they were they upfront about it? Some of them. Absolutely, they... they were upfront because they knew that the DEA was going to hire people yeah. under those conditions. Experimental, and, and that's what I mean. Oh, any college student, I mean, uh, has tried some kind of drugs, some some yeah. way, shape, form. You know, they use recreational, the, experimental, recreational, exactly. Whatever, whatever you want to call it. Yes, sir. That's amazing. It sure is. Did you ever have uh, friends of yours say, "Hey, Sully, let's we can get some some kilos out of here. Nobody will miss it." <clears throat> sell it off and, and yeah, you can put this away for your retirement. Well, let me tell you something. I mean, let me tell you what's ironically you have that. I've had some of my DEA agents go to jail. They're doing a lot of time in jail right now. Some mm-hmm. of my friends that I work with in New York City. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine going into an apartment in Jackson Heights, New York City and we find $5 million cash? You can't count the money. What you have to do is you have to weigh the money. Who's going to miss it? Yes. So imagine that. Who's going to miss? Who's going to miss a hundred? I mean, you know, it's just like I started seeing agents just put money in their pockets and so forth. But I, you know, it's being compromised. And once you do that, then 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 once you once you step across, you don't step you, back. You're going to get busted sooner or later. You're going to get careless, and you start using. You know, we had uh, agents that use coke, uh, mm-hmm. uh, recreational and sure. uh, uh, booze, sure, and so forth. But uh, sure. you know, we have them just like anybody else. Well, just think about that. You're in an apartment. You've made a bust. You put the suspects in the back room. You cuff them. You have one guy watch them, whatever. You're in the living room. Five million in cash? Five million dollars in cash. So what's to keep somebody from sticking a hundred grand in their pocket? (coughs) Nothing. Nothing. And and then what you see is, number one, entry to that apartment was illegal. There was no search warrant. People living in the apartment were aliens. Right. Illegal aliens. Right. So, I mean... Take it for what it's worth. I hear you. And and uh, what rights do they have? Zip. Exactly. They don't, they don't even talk rights. They just yes. say, "What do we do to get out of this? Take the money. I'm out of here." Did Five you ever? Did you ever pounds. hear stories of them? I'm sure they did. The DE agents just say, "Hit the road, keep running, don't look back, and we'll uh, we'll look the other way." And then they sit on the stash. You know, it's it's it's, it's worse than that. I had a DE Is agent it? in Guatemala. <laughs> We refueled several, several Colombian planes. We refueled them to go on the way to the U.S., mm-hmm. never to be caught. Wow. I mean, that, that was, you know, with the agents saying, well, you know, they, they changed their plans the last time, and we don't know where they went. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're right. Sure. The guy is under investigation right now as we speak for those charges. Wow. The DEA agent has been in with DEA for over 20 years. Wow. He's under investigation by the DEA right now. Well, I want to refer everybody back to the archives. Look for John Carman, C-A-R-M-A-N, uh, his two appearances on this program. If you want to hear the inside scoop like we've heard from Sully tonight about the DEA, if you want to hear what the U.S. Customs is up to and what it's not up to in terms of policing the borders here and the ports of entry and the airports, just imagine the number of transits that come and go. Uh, it's unbelievable the number of when you see those containers rolling down the highways and byways of America pulled by a tractor, let's say Costco on them or, or whatever. Uh, just imagine those coming in from ports in the uh, 
in the Asia area, all over the Asian continent, all over Southeast Asia, what could possibly be in there. And the sky is the limit, friends, and it's not checked. It's amazing. Sully, a uh, final word from you as we uh, wind up this hour? Well, the final word is, is very simple. You know, the, the, you know, we need to educate students. I just got back from UCLA where I did a lecture mm-hmm. on, a, on, on different organizations on, on, uh, on what the drug war is going to happen or sure. in Colombia. So education is very important. And let everybody know what, what's really going on. And and don't say like, well, what way would it concern me? I'm I'm down here in South Texas or in sure. Little Rock, Arkansas, somewhere else, and and it's going to affect you because now it's one out of four in the family wow. who's using or selling. Wow, using or selling. Does it do any good to tell our young people really anymore? Don't do it. Just say no. Does that work? Um, I mean, I like to think it does. I think it does in some cases, but you got peer pressure, in my opinion, Sully, that is overwhelming to many of them. They just can't stand up. Oh, I see it in school all the time, and you just got to drill it on in for the demand because if you have demand, then, you know, it's going to come in. I don't care what anybody says. It's just going to pour in, and it's going to destroy a lot of families. It has, and it will continue to do so. Sully, thanks for two uh, magnificent hours, and uh, I salute you, well, sir, you, as, a, as, a true, as a true hero of America. Thank you. Yes, sir. Take Bye-bye. care.